Haldex Brake Monitoring System, BMS, assists the driver with connecting multiple trailers. An audible alarm on each trailer and dolly warns the driver if glad hands are improperly connected or glad hand shutoff valves are improperly positioned before moving when an audible alarm occurs. Pull the yellow dash valve to park the tractor. Verify there is brake lamp power from the tractor. Verify there is no air leakage from the supply line from the tractor red supply glad hand. With the service brakes not applied, verify there is no air leakage from the tractor blue service glad hand. Coupling the tractor to the first or lead trailer. Connect the red supply glad hand from the tractor to the front of the lead trailer. Push the red dash valve to release the trailer park brakes on the lead trailer. With no service brakes applied, verify there is no air leaking from the tractor's blue service glad hand. Connect the blue service glad hand to the front of the lead trailer. Connect the seven-way power connector to the front of the lead trailer. When power is applied to the ABS lamp cycles, the brake monitoring system will turn on after 15 seconds. The brake monitor alarm will beep for 3 seconds and turn off if the trailer air brake system is sufficiently charged. If the alarm continues to beep, allow sufficient time for the supply line to charge to at least 80 PSI. If there are no air leaks and the alarm remains on, verify the glad hand shutoff valves are closed at the rear of the trailer. If the alarm remains on, reference the label on the rear of the trailer and follow the instructions to determine the problem. Prior to hooking up the dolly to the trailer, make sure that the tractor and trailer parking brakes are set. Next step is to hitch the dolly to the lead trailer and back up to couple the rear trailer. Follow the instructions on the label at the rear of each trailer. The lower hoses on the dolly connect to the front trailer. Connect the dolly blue service glad hand to the rear of the lead trailer. Connect the dolly red supply glad hand to the rear of the lead trailer. Connect the dolly seven-way power cable to the rear of the lead trailer. Once the seven-way power cable is connected to the rear of the lead trailer, the brake monitor alarm on the dolly will beep after 15 seconds until charged. The upper hoses on the dolly go to the rear trailer. Connect the dolly blue service glad hand to the front of the rear trailer. Connect the dolly red supply glad hand to the front of the rear trailer. Connect the dolly seven-way power cable to the front of the rear trailer. The brake monitor alarm on the rear trailer will beep 15 seconds after the seven-way power is connected. The alarm will continue to beep until charged. With everything hooked up, set the parking brakes on the tractor and trailer from the cab, then open the red and blue valves at the rear of the front trailer. Next. Go back into the cab and release the trailer brakes only before proceeding. After all the dolly glad hands are connected, open the red supply glad hand shutoff valve at the rear of the lead trailer. The brake monitor alarms on the dolly and the rear trailer will turn off when they detect sufficient supply air pressure. After all the dolly glad hands are connected, open the blue service glad hand shutoff valve at the rear of the lead trailer. If the alarm remains on, reference the label on the rear of the trailer and follow the instructions to determine the problem. The brake monitor alarm on the rear trailer will continue to beep with the glad hand shutoff valves open at the rear of the rear trailer.
Verify supply air is present at the red glad hand shutoff valve at the rear of the rear trailer. With no brakes applied, verify no air is present at the blue service glad hand shutoff valve at the rear of the rear trailer. Both the glad hand shutoff valves must be closed at the rear of the rear trailer. If the alarm remains on, reference the label on the rear of the trailer and follow the instructions to determine the problem. What do you do if the in-cab trailer lamp starts flashing while driving down the road? If the in-cab trailer lamp is flashing while driving, constant service brake air may be the cause. It is extremely important to pull off the road as soon as possible at the safest location near you to identify the problem. The in-cab trailer lamp will stop flashing when the vehicle stops moving. Pull the yellow dash valve to park the tractor. The brake monitor alarm will turn off when the vehicle is parked. To find the cause of the problem, if it is not an obvious air leak, shut off the ignition and restart the tractor. Verify your hand control valve is not applied. Verify your hand control valve is not partially applied. Push the red dash valve to release the trailer park brakes. With no service brakes applied, verify no air leakage from the tractor blue service glad hand. Verify brake lamps are working and not constantly on. Perform air system test at the rear of each trailer that has the alarm on. Open the red glad hand shutoff valve and verify emergency supply areas present at the rear of each trailer that has the alarm on. With no service brakes applied, open up the blue glad hand shutoff valve and verify no air is present at the rear of each trailer that has the alarm on. If the alarm remains on, Reference the label on the rear of the trailer and follow the instructions to determine the problem. If the alarm or flashing in-cab lamp are ignored and you cannot find a problem, at least verify you are not dragging a wheel or the results could be disastrous.